My name's Peter Camp. I uh, own Calyuta Station with my family. Uh, Calyuta is uh, 360 k's east of Broome in the Kimberleys. Uh, we've had Calyuta 18 years. We bought Calyuta in 1995 in total disrepair with no infrastructure, no livestock. And in that time, we have taken it through to having 8,000 head and being a profitable family business. Uh, when we first bought it, it was very degraded. Um, the passes uh, on the property then, 15% was only in good. Uh, good condition, the rest was in very poor to bad condition. Uh, in the time we've had it, we've taken it through to 75% and improving. The property is in, uh, consists of uh, 40,000 or 42,000 hectares of uh, flood out country and running on to uh, where uh, we run all our our um, sow cattle and our young cattle on those areas. Um, going back into this uh, uh, semi-desert country where it uh, consists of 80,000 80, hectares where we run our breeders, um, which consists of uh, um, Spinifex, uh, bluegrass, ribbon grass, and uh, uh, white grass. And where the floodplain is uh, more your uh, ribbon grass, uh, bluegrass, and uh, uh, Mitchell grass. On the floodplain, uh, uh, we need those sort of grasses one, to slow the water down, second, to let the water into the ground, and uh, also help establish other plants as far as uh, trees and everything else. Uh, once your country starts breaking and you start getting water cycle back into the ground, the whole thing evolves within itself. Spinifex has to go under a fire management regime where we burn those areas every three to four years. By controlling the Spinifex with fire management, you keep the clumps of Spinifex down to a manageable size and plus also keeps the pastures at a lot higher nutritional level. Our fire management program, we like to try and burn during the wet season and in the, in the beginning of the dry. So we have a cool burn, so the fire actually pokes along nice and slowly, doesn't do damage to your timber and certainly it doesn't destroy a lot of your better uh, grass species. As far as we're concerned, uh, uh, grass is the, uh, is the main thing behind our business and our lives. Without that, we don't have a business, we don't have a life. We're not looking at our generation, we're looking at generations to come. To, uh, uh, that's why we want to look after this land.